uh, graphics and bitmaps, how data is represented. Sorry, dat. <laughs> Should be date the kiboodle. Uh, really, so I've just put it onto video. So it's not my presentation. Apologies for the quality as well. But it's good. Um, looking at this image, you could do this in Excel as an exercise. And each cell or each pixel is basically the smallest addressable area of an image simply meaning the smallest component or element of an image that's what a pixel is that's going to be in the exam I reckon and you're going to be asked for a definition okay so what it means that out of a whole image what is the smallest area of an image what is the smallest referenced component so it's that's what's meant by the, by the smallest addressable element now in the case of this image here the first row, each pixel, has been made white. That is a representation. The second row, first four are white, the next two are a limey green color, and the next four are white. So we can reference to each individual pixel in terms of its color, or full. Okay? And each pixel is given a single color. White is a color. Okay? So just to recap, one pixel will be the smallest part of that image. Now the other term that you might be asked about in the exam is resolution. That's the number of pixels per unit of measurement. Okay. Now that could be the number of pixels per centimeter, number of pixels per square inch. So basically that's what resolution is. The number of pixels per whatever unit of measurement. All right. Okay, you will um, find, for example, 1024 by 768 is a common resolution. So it's the number of pixels by row as opposed to the number of pixels per column. For example, your screen or VDU, visual display unit, might be this typical 1024 by 768. What this means is 1024 pixels across on the row and 768 down on the column. Okay, that's the definition of resolution. But the definition is the number of pixels per unit of measurement. Okay, so this is an image of a leaf. All right, when we zoom in, each individual pixel, all right, has been given or assigned a single color value. Okay. So the image with a resolution of 1024 by 798 pixels, okay, to find out the total number of pixels, you're going to have to actually multiply this together, all right? So how many pixels in this particular uh, resolution? It's, what is that, 817,152 pixels, okay? Now, the next slide, bitmapped graphics. Okay, when we look at bitmap graphics, we can see that each little pixel has a color. And obviously, the only way we can store this is binary. We call this a binary pattern. For example, white <coughs> and black, or white and, and grayscale. There's only white or black, okay? <coughs> So zero is white, and one would be black. This is great. This would only mean, hey, black and white, this is actually only one bit to store, because zero is nothing, or white. So if we had four colors, we would need two bits per pixel. All right, let's have a look at white, blue, red, and black over here. So this is great, because zero, zero would be white, zero, one could be blue, one, zero, red, and one, one, black. Okay. This is basically allocating a number of bits per pixel, and this is called color depth. <clears throat> so the color depth is the number of bits used to represent a single pixel. Now, if eight colors uh, were wanted, then three bits would be needed. Two to the power of three equals eight. Two to the power of four equals 16. Two to the power of eight is 256. So do you see, as we um, go up the binary scale, as it were, we are getting greater color depth if you want a greater palette, a greater color variety.
Now, each bit pattern, for example, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, each of these bit patterns will represent a different color. Okay? Now, color depth is in terms of bytes required per pixel. So if we use 16 colors, this reminds me of the first computers that I worked with, uh, if it was 4 bits per pixel, that would be basically half a byte. Okay? 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So in terms of bytes, if we've got 16 colors, we call that one nibble. Okay? 256 colors are wanted when we would use 8 bits per pixel. So 2 to the power of 8 equals two, 256. So therefore, 8 bits is one byte. So therefore, 256 colors, you could say, 256 colors means that there's one byte allocated to each pixel. One byte to each pixel, i.e. 8 bits, 8 bits in a byte. All right, so in this presentation, we've looked at these key terms. We've looked at the key term of a bitmap graphic. It's made up of a series of zeros and ones. We've looked at uh, pixels, which is the smallest addressable area of an image. Resolution, this is worth a mark in the exam, I'm sure. And then we've looked at color depth, okay? Which is the number of bits used to represent a single pixel. Okay, hope you enjoyed that.